that sound is awful. I know, it's terrible. I've been listening to it for hours now. It's horrible. <laughs> In the Western United States, there are less than 100,000 wild horses. They've always been an easy scapegoat for the livestock industry. Mm -hmm. We don't want to admit that the huge numbers of their cattle and sheep that are overgrazing are the problem with land health in the American West. And yet, the Bureau of Land Management wants to take away thousands of these horses. It's a David and Goliath situation. Who even found these horses? Hey, look come. around. You can't even see them. But guys, look how overpopulated it is. They're going to be prisoned the rest of their lives for nothing. They did nothing wrong. Our observation rights are being denied, but I'm not surprised. We want to document what is going on down there. Look, I'm in charge and we have to move further back. This issue has not been properly scientifically researched. You've got to be kidding me. I don't think that they really care for the horses out here. I mentioned the family dynamics before yeah. she basically scoffed at me. And yeah, said, a wild animal is a wild animal. The more time we spent with them, it was clear how much they were just like us. The outrage we felt was indescribable. Watching their freedom get taken away. Unless we do something, wild horses will disappear forever. This is a government agency that is broken. Well, guess what? The public is starting to notice. We had a duty to protect them and hold the Bureau of Land Management accountable. We're not allowed to view the holding facility, even though it's a BLM facility. I'm not sure what we're about to encounter. Just keep rolling the whole time. Yep, yep. This was part of the auction, not on the schedule. Oh my god. 